Alright guys, this is the Michael Myers fanatic. First of all, I want to apologize. I've kept you waiting long enough. I've stayed away because I tried to figure out how to fix this whole thing with the Wishmaster interview. The truth is... Well, before I say anything, I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. First of all, this is gonna be a reaction to the news that I got a few weeks ago. And it's also gonna be a channel update. Um, first of all, let me say this before I get to anything. I already knew about Wishmaster 5. I did a video on it sometime late last year. So, um, I want to get that out the way. The second thing I want to say is this. I tried to do the interview. I really did. What happened was, I woke up on April 8th, 2017. I got all my equipment ready, but I guess it overheated. I told you guys about that before, that when it overheats, it doesn't work properly. And some are going to say, well, you're stating the obvious. I know, but I'm telling this to the ones that don't know. When you overheat a laptop, it will not, I repeat, it will not work properly so don't do that let it cool off give it time to cool off you have to do that but anyway what happened was I got all my equipment ready I got the computer ready I got the microphone ready all that stuff and Andrew Devolf sent me a message and he was like oh I'll call you at 10 o'clock California time So I said, oh, cool. And when he tried to call, it wasn't working. So he told me, he was like, call me, try calling me. So I called him and same thing, it wouldn't work. So then we said, okay, how about this? How about you call my house And I'll just put the phone next to the microwave, ne microwave, next to the microphone. That's how upset I am. I'm sitting here calling it a microwave. Forgive me, y'all. I'm just, I'm pissed off because it didn't work. But, um, I meant to say microphone, not microwave. I'm just so upset right now. But anyway, um, yeah, I said, how about you call my house? We'll put the phone next to the microphone. So he said, yeah, we'll try that. So he called me. And for some reason, it kept blocking his call. So that was, you know, another setback. It was just one thing after another. So finally... He said, well, I got to get going. I said, wait, can we try one more thing? I'll give you my cell phone number. So we tried that, and then he called my cell phone. So we tried to record it, you know, using the cell phone. But then, listen to this. Then the microphone wouldn't work. I'm like, what the hell? Like, it was just one bad thing after another. So it just, it was really a bad day that day. It just didn't work out. So then what he told me was, we had tried this again on Monday or Tuesday, which would have been the 10th or the 11th. So I waited for him and for some reason he never showed up. So I hit him up on Facebook cause he told me. He was like, keep in touch with me on Facebook. So I did that. And for some reason, he didn't show. So, you know, maybe he's just busy. Um, and then I tried messaging him on Skype, and he didn't show. So, I apologize, guys. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know where he is. However, he did give an interview to someone else talking about the new Wishmaster film. 
or the one he would like to do. I call it new because it's new to us. First of all, let me say this. I'm a huge fan of the Wishmaster movies. I even like the one that he wasn't in. This was the original plot for Wishmaster 3. It was called Wishmaster 3 The Third Millennium. Although he did not use the number 3, he did inform me when we talked on the phone that it was part 3. So I want to clear that up. I'm gonna read the plot to you. Hold on one second. Hey, after I read the plot to you, I'll give you my reaction. It was called Wishmaster 3 The Third Millennium, and it was written around 1999 and 2000. Like I figured, I said he probably wrote it in 1999 and 2000. So it was written right after the release of the second one. But he goes on to say that it was basically in the anticipation of Y2K and um, for anybody that doesn't know it simply means year 2000 because people were scared of the uh, year 2000 for some reason me I was a little scared but anyway I'm gonna go on I don't need to bore you guys with my thoughts about 2000 anyway Andrew goes on to say that um, you'll remember that it was a bit of a panic in the day, which it was. So he goes on to talk about Wishmaster 3. Listen to this. He says, there was an American warship in Asia and it is hit by a missile and all hell breaks loose. Incidentally, there's a meeting going on in the UN, that's the United Nations, and monsters come to life right there and go through the crowd ripping it up. Then he goes on to say, then we open in the desert with a guy finding a cave and finding the gemstone again. He goes on to say, I won't go too much further than that, but suffice it to say, I put a lot of thought into it. So that's the plot of the new Wishmaster movie that he wants to do. Um, here's my reaction to it. Initially I didn't support it. Now wait, let me finish. I'm not saying this because I'm mad about the interview. You guys know me better than that. I'm a professional person. If I like you, I like you. If I don't, I don't. It's just that with this movie, and I don't know whether you want to call it Wishmaster 3 or Wishmaster 5, because some people don't even consider the official version of Wishmaster 3 to be Wishmaster 3. So, I don't even know what to call this movie. A friend of mine told me to just call it Wishmaster 3.5. So, I guess that's what I'll call it. But anyways, originally, I didn't like 3.5 because I thought it was a bit off. That's the best way I can describe it. It's like... With Wishmaster 1 and 2, they seem like such regular films, and then it's like, with Wishmaster 3, it takes a huge leap. I'll give you an example. The plot of Wishmaster 1 was simple. A gemologist finds a gem and a statue. She plays around with the gem too much, and she accidentally lets him out. He kills a bunch of people. She has to save the world before he can open the gates of hell. So she says to the djinn, I wish you never met me. Thus allowing her to go back in time. Making it so that the events of the first film never even happened. Only she knows and the djinn knows what really happened over the course of those days. Then you got the second film. Wishmaster 2, Evil Never Dies. Suddenly, 
you have this thief named Morgana Truscott, played by Holly Fields. Morgana gets into a shootout with the cops, and she accidentally damages the statue. She touches the jewel. Once again, out comes the Wishmaster. Kills a bunch of people. Same old thing from the first one. But then it's like, with Wishmaster 3, you have a warship in Asia. You've got people meeting at the UN. You've got gargoyles. I'm like, what the hell is this? Gargoyles in a Wishmaster movie? And again, this is not me doubting the movie. It's just that it took a huge leap from the first two movies. But after I took some time to read the plot, like I just read to you guys, I understand it a little bit better now. So, there you have it. That's my reaction to the new Wishmaster movie that Andrew wants to make. I think it's a little off-center. I think it's a little out there. But if it comes out, you better believe I'm going to be one of the first ones to see it because I'm such a huge fan of the series. I just think it's kind of weird, but um, I support it because I love and respect Andrew Devolf. I grew up watching his films. I saw him in 48 Hours, Air Force One. Uh, I saw him in Low Down Dirty Shame. And I saw him in the two Wishmaster films. So, you know, I respect this guy. I just think that Wishmaster 3, or Wishmaster 3.5 as I'm calling it, I don't know, I just think it was a little too out there. But, you know, whatever. I support him like I said. This video has already gone on long enough. So I'm going to end it here and simply say... I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I approve this message. I certainly hope Wishmaster 5 gets made. And I wish Andrew the best of luck. And I'm going to keep trying to get that interview for you guys. I don't know why he didn't show up last week. I don't know if he's upset with me about something. If I upset him about something, I apologize. I tend to do that at times. Maybe I said the wrong thing. I don't know. But for some reason, he has not shown up. And I don't know what the reason is. And I don't like accusing people of things. So I'm going to wait and see what he says. But if you guys want to read about Wishmaster 5, or 3.5 as I'm calling it, I'll put this link in the description box, and if you want other articles, just Google Wishmaster 5, Andrew Devolf, and that should give it to you. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic, I approve this message, this has been my reaction to the new Wishmaster movie. Hopefully Andrew Devolf gets to make his dreams come true, and he gets his own wish. I certainly hope it happens for you, sir. I approve this message.